It was June 1979, and I was 16, and I was stuck on this uninhabited island with my little sister and little brother to look after and 400 other people. We were in an absolute jungle. At first, we looked for some fruit, or we can find with dates and coconuts, but we couldn't climb the coconut trees, or we didn't even have knife to chop the coconuts. We ended up ate some flowers, dug up some roots, there were people who can catch fish in the ocean and we share with each other. When you have hundreds of people with a few fishes, what can you do? How much you can share? Living in that jungle, I was more worried about not having clothes to wear. At first, I wasn't aware that the salt water could ruin the fabric so quickly. To wash myself, I just jumped to the ocean and swim. And after a week or so, I started to notice that the fabric started to wear out and I only had two set of clothes. I thought, what am I going to do? I was worried about my clothes being torn off and being embarrassed. Then I started to look for fresh water to rinse the clothes off. Eventually, the shirt got torn off and I would patch it with fabrics. And I patched the back of my shirt to the point where the front of the shirt was thin. You can see through, and the back was so thick like a pot holder, like a, a cobweb, crisscrossed with stitches. I always felt embarrassed walking around with clothes like that. The children, they didn't seem to have much worry. They just go and swim in the ocean, run around the jungle, and play with each other on the sand beach. The conditions were hard. There were three of us on that island, volunteered to work with the sick people. I just went there and sat with especially children and tried to give them water. There wasn't any food or medicines I can give them. I just hold them and comfort them. And in the evening, I will go back to be with my sister and my brother. We were all going about our day like normal. And then all of a sudden, we heard this sound of helicopter. Everybody stopped what they were doing. And we looked up and we saw the sign, the Red Cross underneath it and we waved our clothes and sticks and then people started to burn some branches to make smoke and the helicopter stopped circling around and they waved at us and we knew somebody found us and it was just an amazing feeling. We had the first visit from the World Vision. Doctors from Singapore came on the island and they spent three days there working with us. So I followed them to help them distribute medicines Everybody went on with their day-to-day -day life, waiting to be interviewed and get settled somewhere. You know, I never forget that one day when I received a parcel. I've never received anything on that island, and all of a sudden, my name was called to the office to receive a package. And I was so surprised, and that package came from Singapore. I opened it up, and guess what I got in there? With some shirts. The doctor sent me clothes. I was overjoyed. It was the best gifts I've ever got.